Hello, I'm William Broom and welcome to Sydney Dragway. We've got two very special guests today. They are record holders. We've got Gemma Dunn, who is a land speed racer, the fastest woman on the salts here in Australia. Mourn her soon. And we've also got <laughs> Rochelle Splat. You have achieved a world record in your own right. Could you tell us briefly what that is? Um, I was the first woman in the world to exceed 300 mile per hour. I feel nauseous just thinking about it. <laughs> what an achievement, what a record. But we are here today to announce a very special event and a very special occasion. Tell us a little bit about it, Gemma. Um, so Rochelle and I have decided to team up and do something a bit different for once. And so we're going to race Rosie here for the, and we're going to be the first time all female Australian women land speed team. So this is pretty special for me because Rochelle has been in complete idol for me um, ever since I've gotten into racing and uh, we're just gonna have some fun two chicks out there having some fun setting some land speed goal, ra um, records I hope so yeah, yeah. that's the plan that's yeah the plan. but yeah. Rochelle land speed racing and drag racing are chalk and cheese how does yeah. it work together how does this partnership function well I'm hoping that <laughs> um, racing a top fuel dragster and uh, running 300 mile per hour now I think it's a like a, a good foundation for moving into something like this. Um, it's it is a lot different, obviously, because we're doing it over a long period of time, and it's a lot more than four seconds, which is what we do. Um, so, but I think I, you know because of that, I got a good foundation, and I'm just going to learn as much as I can about the car and about land speed racing. And Gemma is going to teach me everything she knows. <laughs> And um, yeah, and I'm just really excited about giving it a go. Gemma, what do you think will be the greatest challenges of working together as a partnership? Um, I think the greatest challenge will be just just getting Rochelle, like it's, it's about Rochelle trying something new mm. with us. Like that, that'll be the challenge is getting Rochelle prepared. Um, it is quite different, but quite similar in a lot of ways. So that's why where we thought the cross relation between the two sports would work. Um, so yeah, the biggest challenge is just getting Rochelle prepared and um, just comfortable with the fact that, you know, we do travel over a high speed over a long distance. Mm. So we have a nine mile track, whereas Rochelle, you've got four miles, quarter yeah, miles. It's like, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it happens very quick and it's a short amount of, you know, amount of time I'm, I'm at that speed. Yeah. So it's going to be a very different feeling. How did you both get involved in your sports? We'll go to Rochelle first. Uh, well, I was at home and my dad called me and he said to me, just didn't say anything else. He just said, what are you doing next March? <laughs> I said, how would I know what I'm doing next mm. March? And, um, and then he had Gemma's dad, yeah. Mark, with him and they were talking together about me potentially coming into the team and, mm. and joining Gemma as well. And so dad goes, I'll give her a call now. <laughs> and he called me and um, that was the initial first mm. sort of conversation about it. Fantastic. So it's very much a family affair in very many much. ways. Yeah, for both definitely. of you, yeah. isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, so mm. Rochelle's dad got her into drag racing and mm. my dad got me into land speed racing and both being sort of that hot rodder background, you know, Ian makes mm. lots of um, parts for hot rods and motorbikes and things like that. We've even got Ian's wheels on our car. Yes. So that's why dad was there at the workshop and then one thing led to another, boys being boys, yeah. <laughs> started discussing what, what they could do. And, Talking and about their daughters racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ian was like, I don't think Rochelle will ever say no to something like that. Yeah. So that's sort of where it, it come down, down from, so yeah. Have you ever tried each other's sports? Well, this will be the first well, time, be, Yeah, this first will be the first time. time yeah. First time that I'll ever be in, in a car like this, yeah. yeah. Um, and we both think each other are crazy. Yes. Like, I think she's crazy. Crazy is good. <laughs> yeah. I think she's crazy because there's walls here, there's things to hit. It's such a small track, whereas Rochelle seems yeah. to think that what we do holding it for so long yeah. is crazy. So Some of the best things come out of craziness. <laughs> so is yeah. there anybody in particular you'd like to thank for your support? Definitely our dads, yes. obviously, for yes. bringing us together. And um, and I would also like to thank um, Golf With and Oil, who have been a big supporter of mine yes. in my top fuel racing. And um, they're always helping me out. They're always there. They've always got my back. And they were really excited to hear about this new venture of, that we're doing. And they wanted to be involved. Yeah, so they, they support Rochelle in whatever she really wants to do. And, and it was really wonderful mm. to, to have that support extended to us just for this once in a lifetime opportunity. So Golf Western have um, already supported us. We now have their sticker on our car and we're happy to promote them. 
through this new venture and they're going to also cross promote the two sports which is ideally what we'd like to do mm. we want to get land speed racing on the map as, as well as well as us and drag speed, drag racing as well so um thank you golf western oil for yes their thank extended you support <laughs> to us thank you rochelle thank you Gemma, and best of luck to you both thank, thank you. you thanks a lot <laughs>